Hello and welcome back. This is Steve from Box Coins, and today we're going to be looking at banknotes. I have here about 10 or 12 banknotes. Let me just. The first two are the same note. They are a two rupee note from Bengal. Oh, sorry, from Nepal. The monarch pictured on the left hand side of the note is King Burudria in the rimmed crown. Sorry, the plumed crown. The temple that is here is a Bajrajiya temple. In this section here, if you hold it up to the light, you won't be able to see it very well there. There is a watermark and the watermark is this plumed crown. On the reverse of the note is a leopard, known as a spotted leopard. And on the far side here is the crown, is the uh, national crest. The two rupees, the two in Arabic and in normal script, Western script. This is a two rupee one. It's one of the nicer notes, I think. Number 25 and number 26. There we go. My order of things. The next note is also a Nepalese note. This one is a one rupee note. It is King Badria again, but in this time he's in a military cap rather than a plumed crown. The watermark again is a crown and you've got a better shot of the Beja Rajo Ni temple. I've probably I've butchered that, I know I have. The watermark in there again is the plumed crown in this area here. On the back are musk deers. I believe those are musk deer. Hang on. Let me just check. <laughs> yeah, they are musk deer, but they're actually Himalayan musk deer. The mounting at the back here is Mount Arman. Arma Dab Dablam. Again, I've probably butchered that totally. Again, the last thing here is the crest. So that's the one rupee note from Nepal. Right. We do have two copies of this note, slightly different serial numbers, but this is a one dinar note. It's got their probably Koresh cap. I know I've butchered that again, but that is actually Croatia. So this is a Croatian note. It's one dinar. And it's the person on the front there is a guy called Rujka Bashkayov. He's, an astro he's a mathematician, astronomer and physicist. So that guy again is Rudger Bashkovsvich. There are watermarks on here and they're described as lozenges. In the uh, 
in the description that I found for them and the information I found for them. These notes, however, although they're Croatian, they were printed in Sweden in 1991. And on the back, it's one of these notes that is red. It looks very similar to our own notes, i.e. it's horizontal. And then when you turn it over, you have to look at it vertically. And it, this is the Zagreb Cathedral. Okay, so that's a 1D9 note, and I happen to have two copies of that one. Sorry, I lied, I have three copies of it. <laughs> Staying in Croatia, this is a 5D9 note. It has the same person, which is Rujka Baskovic. He hasn't changed his job. He was a mathematician, physician, physicist, sorry. And this can be sh shown here on the mathematical scales that he's got there on the five mark note. Again, the watermark is described as lozenges. And on the back, again, is our Cloak Cathedral. We stay with Croatia. This is a 10 dinar note. Again, it has the same person on. Mr. Baskovic. Again, it has the mathematical symbols over this side. The watermark is still a lozenge watermark. And again, the cathedral on the back is a is, uh, Zagreb Cathedral. You'll see a lot of these notes in packs of notes that you can buy on eBay and they do come up quite frequently with those particular notes in them. They seem to be a staple note. This one is a one noble uh, sorry, one ruble brown note from a place called the Transistracia Transnistracia Straya Try that again for the third time Transistracia It's from 2007 The gentleman on the note is General Alexander Vajikif and he was around between 1730 and 1800 and he is the founder of a place called Tiraspol, which I believe is in Transistria. On the back here, on the reverse of this note, it is a bridgehead memorial complex known as the Plaster Arms, and it's also known as the Kiskoski, Kiskoski Bridgehead Memorial. Again, I've probably butchered that totally, so please forgive me. Anybody who actually comes from Transistra, the next note from the same from the same country, Transistra. It's a five ruble note. The general this time is on the other side. So that's General Alexander Vazivik. Try again. Vazilavishik. I don't know whether I've got that right or not. 
This notice from 1994, as can be seen by the date in the bottom left hand corner there. On the back here, it is the Parliament building in Tiras Fall. So that's the five ruble note. We have one more one ruble note, which is a slightly different date. Um, it's an earlier note. The first one ruble note, which is the brown one, was from 2007. This one again is from 1994. Again, it shows our friend General Alexander Vasilichev Zedlov. Okay, I won't try that again. The difference between this and the other one ruble note is on the back. Instead of having the Bridgehead Memorial on, it has the Parliament building in Terraceville. Okay. This, co this country at one time was part of the Oops. This is a one ru a ten ruble note. Again, it's got our favourite general on. Again, it was from this 1994. This is the third one of this particular set from 1994. It is a brownish coloured one, green brown. And it has again the Parliament building on the back. It's the third note from 1994 series. Looks as if they redesigned in 2007. When that first note, when that where that first note is from. This country, I believe, from what I've from what I've read, is a country that's in or what used to be part of the Soviet bloc. The next one I actually have three copies of. It is a 50 ruble note. This is the obverse, this is a Holsk gate. Through the star, uh, through the yeah, through the Russian star. So this is the obverse. This is the whole whole gate. I do apologise. It's a fragment of the memorial of the Brest hero fortress, fortress, and the Brest is B R E S T. So that's the Holmsk gate. And on the reverse here, this is the main entrance to the memorial fortress. And as I say, the watermark down this side is uh, the this entr a picture of this entrance. We've got time for a couple more, so just excuse me for a moment. This is the last but one note. This is a 10 dinar note from Serbia from 2013. On the front here is a guy called Vak Stefanic Kadesic and he's a poet from Serbia. On the, the watermark on this actually looks like that portrait there. That is a portrait of him as an older man. Again, you've got the coat of arms of Serbia, and here, in blue, in a blue t in a blue tint, is a picture of the first Slavic Congress in Prague in 1848, of which this gentleman was part.
That's the 10D9 notes from Serbia. And last but by no means least, I have four copies of this note. Lucky person that I am. It's a 5001 note from North Korea. These were issued between 2002 and 2006. The portrait there is of the president of the time, which was Kim Il-sung. The flowers around the outside are magnolia flowers. The writing, Slavic writing, is the Congress, uh, which is the Central Bank of uh, the People's Republic of Korea. And you have the got the coat of arms. Looks like the coat of arms of Korea there as well. On the back here, we have Magyong a day, Magyong a day. I think it's it is. It's a birthplace of Kim Il Sung. So there's the five thousand one. As you can see, I've got four copies of this note. Uh, they're not in a they're not in a run sequence, so it's quite a common note to find here now in the West. And that's the last note of this particular bank note hunt. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these notes. Do I have a favourite? I'm not sure. So a quick look. Two one one rupee, two two rupee one note. Sorry, a one rupee note. Those I think are my favourite ones amongst the notes I've shown you today. These will go into my collections, and I do have a few, as you can see, that are spare. However, I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. If you, I hope you'll give me a like and also i would really really would like you to come back again and subscribe to my channel if you're having a hunt hope you find the coins you're looking for or the notes you're looking for if you are buying i hope you can get them for a good price in the meantime until the next video bye for now ta -da. Ooh, where am I? There we go, ta-da.